Oi, pessoas, tudo bem? Oh! Oi, pessoas, tudo bem? Então, hoje eu quero falar um pouco sobre meu progresso em português. Eu vou analisar meu primeiro vídeo no canal. No canal. É? Is that right? Yes. É? Yeah? Sure? What, are you lying to me? Huh? One more time, ah, one more time, one more time. Go on, say it slow for me and I'll repeat it straight after you. Eu vou analisar meu primeiro vídeo que eu... That's not slow. Eu vou analisar meu primeiro vídeo no YouTube. Is that right? That's perfect. So first of all, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it's Vale Com Jake. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram at Vale Com Jake. So yes, I'm going to look at my first video that I ever filmed for YouTube. It's not that long ago, four months ago. I made it shortly after I had my first lesson in Portuguese and I had to read a dialogue from a text. If I remember correctly, I don't think it was that good. The thing was, I was reading the text and I didn't understand what it meant, so I was pretty much just trying to pronounce the words. So hopefully now, when I look at this text, I will actually be able to understand what it means. Um, and we're going to just talk a little bit about my progress and just see if how far I have come in four months. So yes, four months ago I started to learn Portuguese. My journey started with using things like Duolingo, um, language exchange apps, and this is where I found my tutor. I started taking two lessons a week. Now I, I have continued to take these lessons and obviously I started this YouTube channel to talk about my progress and with that I've learned quite a lot of Portuguese through it. Um, with my Instagram I received a lot of comments in Portuguese, I received messages in Portuguese so I'm constantly having to translate these messages um, to be able to fully understand them. But I have to say that most of the comments and messages that I do receive I understand, um, initially I didn't understand any of it, but through receiving them like constantly and I've actually started to learn the words that are being used, my readings progressed, my listenings progressed, um, but it's always like one or two words that stop me from understanding a sentence fully. It's like I can understand 90% of the words, but then there'll be like one or two words and because of those one or two words, I can't form the sentence properly. And in that case, I will use Google Translate just to, so I can fully understand the sentence. For me now, I feel like what I need to do is start practicing more with my conversational Portuguese. Um, I feel like I've learned quite a lot of vocabulary in Portuguese. So what I need to start doing now is trying to put it together into sentences and actually try to start speaking Portuguese um, in conversation. So yes, that is the next challenge for me. I could say that's the next challenge um, for for the next for the rest of the year. So it's August now. No, it's September. It's September now. Um, so we have three months till the well, four months till the end of the year, and that's four months for me to try and start speaking Portuguese. Oh yeah, let's see where I am in December. But for now, let's take a look at my first video, and let's see how far I have progressed. As you can see the text there, be welcome to the Brazilian universe, which I am now fully migrated into. Um, so yeah, let's download it and take a look um, at the lesson. So yes, this was the first lesson and this here is the text that I had to read through in my first lesson. Um, relatively simple, but what we have to remember that in my first lesson the only things I knew in Portuguese was Bom dia, como vai você, tudo bem, boa noite, boa tarde, obrigado. So 
me seeing all of this was, um, yeah, it was quite overwhelming actually because I didn't understand 75% of this I did not understand. Um, so yeah, so uh, having to speak those words, it was quite confusing for me. Let's take a look at the video. So the first page, there is four paragraphs um, of dialogue and he spoke through the dialogue and I had to repeat after him. Um, the key was here was not to look at the um, PDF file, not to look at the text, but I had to just listen to him and remember exactly what he said and repeat after him, which I find actually quite difficult because I'm so used to, in my learning process, of looking at the text and reading the text and just hoping that I'm saying it right. So it was good to have someone um, actually tell me the sentences and the words to say um, because I had to like kind of really think and listen to what he was saying and think about the words he was saying which made me use my brain a little bit more and think like okay so what does it it's always good to uh, use your brain a little bit more um, I have to say this word mean or, or was, it was more just about how he's pronouncing the words um, so yeah I'll, I'll quickly talk through this dialogue uh, Dialogue number one, this is between um, a professor and I guess a student. Um, so it starts with the professor and the student's name is Maria. Bom dia Maria, como vai você? Bem obrigado e é senhor? Muito bem obrigado. Achi logo professor? Achi logo Maria. That was dialogue number one. Struggling with the professor a little bit, but moving on to the next text. So we're, we're with Jorge now. Boataji Jorge, como vai você? Bem, e como vai a senhora? Muito bem, obrigado. Te logo, professora. Ciao, Jorge. Number three. Boa noite, Mario. Como vai você? Tudo bem, e você? Bem, também. Mas preciso descansar para amanhã. Até amanhã, Sonia. Até amanhã, Mario. Boa noite. So, yeah, that was, that's three paragraphs. Um, I know it seems simple, but for me it's quite difficult because I'm not familiar with these words. So, when my, my teacher was saying, Mas preciso descansar para amanhã. I'm thinking to myself, firstly, I'm thinking, what does that even mean? See, simple things like that. Mas preciso descansar para amanhã. I had no idea what that meant. Um, it just, every word in that sentence was new to me. Um, but now I can gladly say that I understand what that means uh, in English. But I need to rest for tomorrow. Mas preciso descansar para amanhã, something so simple, but that shows you the level of my Portuguese four months ago and shows you how I really was just a beginner. Um, but then I had to also think, okay, just concentrate on how he's pronouncing those words. Um, so that was a kind of challenge I felt. Um, obviously, we spoke about what the actual sentence is translated to in English. Um, I had some idea, you know, bo noichi, como vai você, tudo bem, e você, these kind of things that I'm, you know, I, I understand already, but mas preciso descansar para amanhã was, it was a little bit difficult for me, kind of like, hearing those words, it confused me. <laughs> so, moving on, the fourth one is slightly long in this paragraph, so I will take a drink before. Just realized this room's like a sauna as well. So, let's start. This is between Paolo and Peter. Oi, Peter. Você fala português muito bem. Você acha mesmo? Não falo não. Falo mais ou menos? Não. Você fala muito bem, sim. Muito obrigado. Onde é que você mora, Peter? Mora no Flamengo e estudou no centro. 
Todos aquí estudian portugués. Estudia. Ellos hablan inglés y estudian portugués. Moran con brasileños. Moran sin. Ellos hablan portugués por día todo. ¿Y vosotros gustan de estudiar aquí? Gustan. Y también gustamos de hablar portugués. Hacho ótimo estudiar aquí en Mora con brasileños para hablar portugués por día todo. So yeah, that last, last sentence was quite hard for me. There's a lot of words that I struggled to pronounce. Um, brasileiros. 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 Something that I found so difficult at the beginning. Um, and now I'm very comfortable to say brasileiros. I do not like this I think, um, I think so, anyway. <laughs> I think that was right. I've actually repeated it a hundred times just to try and get used to it. But when it comes up in a sentence like that, where I have to say Acho ochimo estuda aqui e mu... Acho, acho, acho. Com brasileiros para falar português ou dia todo. It's a bit of a mouthful for a language that I'm not familiar with. Um, so yeah, this, this, this is my first lesson. Um, some of the things that we, we sort of um, pointed out through this dialogue. So that was me trying to speak Portuguese dialogue for the first time and I think you could probably see that my pronunciation was it was okay um, I think you notice well I noticed that like me reading I could obviously I didn't understand what it meant because um, the tone of voice like the way I was reading it wasn't really like actually how it would have been read in conversation with the kind of like when it's a question I didn't really ask it as a question and that's because I didn't understand the dialogue. I was just reading words um, with no understanding of what the dialogue was. So I think I should try it again and let's see if I have improved. I really hope I have improved. Um, so let's let's give it a go. Okay, from the beginning. Bom dia, Maria. Como vai você? Bem, obrigado. E o senhor? Muito bem, obrigado. Até logo, professora. Até logo, Maria. Boa tarde, Jorge. Como vai você? Bem, e como vai a senhora? Muito bem, obrigada. Até logo, professora. Tchau, Jorge. Boa noite, Mario. Como vai você? Tudo bem. E você? Bem também. Mas preciso descansar para amanhã. Até amanhã, Sonia. Até amanhã, Mario. Boa noite. Oi, Peter. Você fala português muito bem. Você acha mesmo? Não fala não. Fala mais ou menos. Não você não. Você fala muito bem sim. Muito obrigado. Onde é que você mora, Peter? Mora no Flamengo e estudo no centro. Todos aqui estudam português? Estudam. Eles falam inglês e estudam português. Mora em com... Moram com brasileiros? Moram sim. Eles falam português o dia todo. E vocês gostam de estudar aqui? Gostamos e também gostamos de falar português. Acho ótimo estudar aqui. Mora com brasileiros para falar português o dia todo. So I felt like that was bad. <laughs> I felt a lot more comfortable saying all of that dialogue than the first time I actually felt a lot more comfortable reading that dialogue than watching myself back read it because <laughs> watching that back was uh, quite uncomfortable to be honest and now I understand the dialogue it's Paolo um, saying to Peter that he speaks Portuguese very well um, and Paolo asking where he lives in Brazil or Rio um, and he's asking if he lives with Brazilians um, and if he speaks Portuguese with them and yeah he says he speaks Portuguese with them and he enjoys to live with Brazilians and he thinks it's great to study in Rio. So yeah that is the first dialogue. Um, it's quite nice to look back at that and because I personally feel I've made progress I can clearly see that I was struggling a little bit to read through that dialogue and now reading it back four months later, I'm very comfortable reading that dialogue. Oh so, yeah, I think I have progressed in four months. I'll continue. <laughs> 
I still take these lessons. Since coming back to London and since I've started my new job, I, I feel like my progress has slowed down a little bit because I used to spend my time during the quarantine, like every day I was studying a little bit of Portuguese. Um, now I don't get to do that so much, but I still have my Instagram, which is, you know, it's all Brazilian and Portuguese related. So that helps a lot. But now, like I said in the beginning of the video, I need to speak more. I need to practice more of my conversational Portuguese. Um, I'm trying to speak more Portuguese in these videos, but obviously trying to speak a whole 20 minutes in Portuguese, I can't do that yet. <laughs> Maybe by the end of the year. I mean, my initial goal was two years, but I think I'm, I'm going to do it quicker than that. I'm quite confident. I hope you guys enjoyed that video um, and, and if anyone wants to have some conversation in Portuguese let me know because I need to try it. Um, but yeah until then guys I will see you in the next video and make sure you subscribe, don't forget to like and follow me on Instagram and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao!